What is going on fellow outlaws outlaw Gary here and in today's video We are doing something that many of you guys that are familiar with Red Dead Redemption 1 may find Interesting, of course if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button as we are uploading Red Dead Redemption 2 all week long, as well as Days Gone, a new PS4 game dealing with zombies, which uh, I should have footage on the channel already from the time you guys seeing this, if not the next day. But today's video is a little strange because it's sort of an Easter egg to Red Dead Redemption 1, and um, it's very, very strange. So let me give you a little backstory if you've never played Red Dead 1. And I can explain to you how this all ties into Red Dead Redemption 2. What was that? Oh, is this the, the guy shooting bottles? I think it is. It's the guy shooting bottles. So, in Red Dead Redemption 1, there was a lady called the Donkey Lady. Now, this lady could be ridden. Now, that sounds really weird because you could actually ride on some lady in Red Dead Redemption 1. She was, like, you could ride her like a horse. And uh, I have some footage that I want to show you guys of what that looks like really quickly. So as you guys can see, this is like old school recording, eight years old. Uh, what they did was they used, they pointed a camera towards their TV and recorded their screen. Now this is the donkey lady. As you guys can see, you could ride her back then and you could just do whatever you want. You could and go wherever you wanted. You could gallop, all that stuff. And she was pretty quick. Now in Red Dead Redemption 2, we don't have this same lady like this. As you guys know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is much more of a serious game. But she is in Red Dead Redemption 2, sort of. If you make your way over to New Austin and you go to this location, you will find the donkey lady here. So if you come to this spot, it's called Two Crows. In between the U and the S of New Austin, you'll find the donkey lady. Now, what's really weird about the donkey lady is that, as you guys can see, this whole area is run down. Now, there is also a male, like a donkey, donkey dude, a uh, donkey husband, I guess, which is the uh, husband of this lady from Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, clearly, at some point, the donkey lady uh, became somewhat of a servant to the people that lived here. Um, and she died working on a farm as you guys can see this isn't like your ordinary donkey you can just see from the facial structure of this lady that she has a donkey face which honestly makes it really freaking weird and uh it's incredibly incredibly weird because you can see that uh she has like human feet and human traits even with her hands but her face is just all types of not normal now at this location, you'll also find one other thing, and that is a, a loot box, a, a chest of some sort. So if you do come here, you will find uh, some nice little valuables you can grab and pick up, which I highly recommend you do because you can also inspect her corpse. So once you inspect her corpse in the bottom right, you will see it says Donkey Lady, and you then proceed to write in your journal what she's all about. And it reads, what was this poor thing who would do such a thing to any creature now of course like we don't really know the story of the donkey lady but what makes it so weird is that this story happens before red dead redemption one so i don't know why she's dead and that's something i don't understand with the story on why she's dead and hopefully you guys can help me figure that out on why she's dead because in red dead redemption one she she can be ridden she could like be you could travel everywhere with her so i don't know why in red dead redemption one uh red dead one she was alive but in red dead two she's dead if this game is supposed to happen beforehand just super confusing because i don't know if she was actually her because it might have been a different person which is super weird too that means there's more of them so what i'm thinking here there might be some kind of tribe or a group of people uh, of the donkey people. Does that sound weird? I don't know. Um, because if there's her, if she has a husband, and then there's also one in Red Dead Redemption 1, there's possible she had a daughter, and that daughter is the donkey lady we see later on in another Red Dead. So not really sure truly how that all works, but if you look around in these houses, especially the, the burnt, the broken down ones, um, 
you'll notice that there's a grave here uh with no tombstone really but something sticking out like a rock of some sort uh also of course there's a really really run down ranch uh that no one currently lives at but you'll see that there is a chest you can loot here let me grab it which is a nice little loot box and uh you'll see the coin cup which is pretty good money. I think it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, 23 bucks. And then the small jewelry bag, uh, which is, I believe, $25, if not 50. It's one of those two. But overall, like, this place is pretty dead. Like, there's not much else here. And it's weird because as more, like, the more we play this game in the story, the more stuff we find in free roam. If you guys ever come across cool things you don't think I've seen in Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2, and you think I should check out here on the channel, please, by all means, let me know in the comment section as i want to uh do what i can to make sure i showcase all the really really cool things that this game has to offer uh like this donkey lady now i don't think there's any way for me to remove her from this but i'm gonna try because we're here so let's see if we can untie her somehow shoot the ropes no nothing nothing i do breaks her free of these ropes let me try maybe shooting this nope Nope, none of that. Just so weird. Nothing I do here breaks her out. If I shoot her, it actually goes through her body if I shoot her as well. So I don't know like what. Yeah, you can't do anything with her. Um, I believe if I run away and come back, sometimes her body gets undone and then she falls to the floor and then you can pick her up, but it's not guaranteed. And uh, as you guys can see, there's something really strange that happened here. Um, I'm a little confused because as you guys can see, like clearly there was a lot of animals here and, um, it's, they're all dead. Uh, all it's the whole place is just super, super, super run down. Um, so I don't know if she lived here at two crows or like someone lived here and then someone, uh, avenged her because of what they did to her, but something definitely took place here that uh isn't natural and apparently if you come at night she will be floating around the barn which i don't know how true that is but we can test that theory um and oh look look she fell there we go there we go oh shoot okay so once you discover her she falls to the floor which is so freaking weird so freaking weird Okay, so somehow she just fell. And I think it's because we discovered her. So let's place a dynamite here. Let's light it up, see what happens. Nothing, literally nothing happened. So here's a few theories, right? Theory one, why is she here? Uh, and, and what purpose did she serve at Two Crows, this place here? If someone did come here and they tried rescuing her, did they cause all this damage to this place? Because as you guys may or may not know, clearly she doesn't own this place. Or if she did, someone took her captive and made her into uh, this working donkey for that, that mill there, um, which is incredibly sad if you ask me. Um, and I, I don't know like what exactly took place inside of this barn area, but you guys can see like it's super, super run down. So, Something definitely definitely happened here, but we don't know exactly what with all the death in the area with all these uh, Skeletons and bones, you know that something unfortunate happened here But we don't know the full story now Of course if you guys have any information where you think that there's newspaper clippings or anything that ties to this donkey lady Or have any information that is like oh man like this is what happened to these people Be sure to let me know in the comment section because this is freaking cool like, I really want to learn more about this donkey lady. I want to learn more if there's more donkey people. And uh, maybe it's aliens. You never know. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I got uh, Days Gone, the new zombie game free roam early. I can actually play it tonight or today at the time of this recording, the 21st. I can play it on the 22nd, I believe, and I can post videos on the 22nd. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. I'm gonna see if we can get something cool going where we can show off a bunch of footage. And if you guys wanna see anything in specific with the game, please let me know. I, I wanna know what you guys wanna see. So um, I have to, by uh, April 22nd, 5 a.m. PST is uh, when I can showcase recorded footage. I can't live stream it, but I can post 
gameplay of it. So I will do that uh, here on the channel today, I hope. Um, regardless, thank you guys so much for the love. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully see you guys soon. And I will catch back up with you guys uh, tomorrow with a brand new video here on Outlaw Gary.